Austria's coalition is breaking up over a video scandal. And now Chancellor Sebastian Kurz is seeking to oust Interior Minister Herbert Kickel. Kickel's far-right coalition partner also threatening to quit the teetering government if he does. Austria's political turmoil began on Saturday when the Chancellor's partnership with the far-right Freedom Party fell to pieces. Its leader, Heinz Christian Stracker, was caught on camera in 2017 allegedly offering to fix state contracts and discussing how to work around party financing laws with a woman posing as the niece of a Russian oligarch. Reuters Francois Murphy in Vienna. What's clear uh, is that the Chancellor, Sebastian Kurz, uh, seems to be pushing for Kickel to, as, to be removed as Interior Minister. Uh, the argument was presented by a close ally of Kurz's, our European Affairs Minister here, uh, Gemma Blumel, uh, was that uh, since Kickel was the party chairman uh, of the Freedom Party uh, back when this thing was carried out, uh, he shouldn't be uh, in a position to oversee an investigation into this whole thing and what happened. Um, now, uh, the response from Kickel has been that uh, that has nothing to do with it, and what's really at stake here is that Kurtz is trying to make a power grab um, before the election. Stracker has resigned but denies breaking the law, calling the incident a targeted political assassination, and he maintains that no money ever changed hands. But Kutz has announced a thorough investigation into the sting, all of this ahead of a snap election that's expected to be called for September. We know very little about uh, who was behind this. We simply know that it was published by, by two German media uh, on Friday evening. Uh, and they say uh, they don't know who was actually behind this video. So we have very little information to go on. What's, what's interesting is that this uh, was filmed in the summer of 2017, uh, which is before the election that brought these two parties to power. Uh, so that raises a very important question, which is who would hold on to something like this for almost two years and why? On Monday, support for the Freedom Party had dwindled by five percentage points, down to 18%. Kutz has urged voters not to support the far right or left in this week's European Parliament elections, one among many efforts from mainstream European parties trying to curb the right.